Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Microsoft Office Learning. In this video, I'm going to discuss with you five important formula in Microsoft Excel. The five important formula which are commonly used in Excel and which everyone should know. Which are these formula? The formulas are, first formula is count formula, second one is count a formula, third one is count blank formula, fourth one is count if formula, and the fifth one is count if formula. I will discuss each formula with simple example and I'll make comparison of the formulas as well. So let's start writing the formula without wasting any further time. The first formula is count formula. Count formula, I made a very simple example of the accident reported in hospital for the month of January, February, March, April and May. If I want to have the count of these values, I just want to have the count of the values, how many cells contain value so then i will use a simple count function the simple count function it starts with is equal to c o u n t so you'll see on the top of it there is a count function if i press tab so it will select for me now i need to define the range the range in which the formula will look for the formula will look for and give us the count so i click on the first cell and then i drag the cell till the bottom cell so it will select the range for me. The last thing is just close off bracket and press enter. So it's giving me the count of five. It means there are five cells which contain value in the month of January. It's just simply giving me the count. If I want to copy this formula for the rest of the columns to have a count of these columns as well as simply I will drag from the bottom and move it to the other columns as well. So it's giving me the count for the other columns as well. There are five, four, three, four, five. So this is how this formula work. I wrote down the formula on this side. We start with is equal to C O U N T count, start of bracket, first cell reference, then colon sign, and the last cell reference and close of bracket. It's just give me the count. It's giving me the count of the cells which contain value in any column. So uh, the next formula is count a formula. Count a formula is slightly bit advanced form of count function because it counts the values and it counts the alphabet values as well. So it counts the numerical and the alphabet both values. I show you how it works. It start with is equal to C O U N T and on second number there is count a function. I press tab it will select it for me click on first cell and drag till the bottom and then close of bracket press enter so it's giving me the count of seven if i want to copy this formula for the other column i just drag from the bottom so it's giving me the count of seven it means seven cells which contain value either the value is alphabet or it's a numerical value now i make comparison with the simple count function the simple count function it's I'll just apply the formula and show you how it works simple count function is C O U N T on very first number press tab and then select the range close of bracket simple count function is giving me the count of four according to the count function there are four cells which contain value why it's showing me the four cells which can contain value because the simple count function ignore the cells which contain alphabet values like this cell AA, this cell GT and this cell JK. So the count function is just giving me the count of four cells whereas the count A function is giving me the count of seven cells which contain value which is the accurate count. So count A function is slightly bit advanced form of count function. So I wrote down the formula on this side which start with is equal to count a start of bracket and the cell range then close of bracket so this is how it formula works let's move on to the next formula the next formula is count blank formula count blank formula counts the blank in given data we need to come across a situation when we need to find the count of the blank cells in given data either it it's a given data in form of column or it's, it is in form of row. So here this formula helps us. So let's start writing the formula. It's up is equal to C-O-U-N-T. On third number, you can see there is a count, count blank function. If I press tab, so it will select it for me. Again, I need to select the range. 
click on parcel and drag till the bottom and then close of bracket and press enter so it's giving me the count as zero because there are zero cell which is which is blank in this column if i copy this formula for the next column and just drag from the bottom so it's giving me the count of two it means in second column there are two cells which are blank which contain no value so it's giving me the count of two whereas the first column which doesn't contain any blank cell so that's why it's it's giving me the count of zero so this is how this formula works the formula is is equal to count blank start of bracket cell range and then close bracket so sometimes we need to count the blank cells in a very large data so where this formula helps us to de determine which cells are blank and which cells contain the value let's jump on to the next formula the next formula is count if formula count if formula is very important formula in microsoft excel count if formula is also known as conditional formula or criteria formula because we need to define some criteria to get results here i created a very simple example it's a student result for the different branches branch one two three and four there are past and the failed students so now i apply the counter formula how we can work with the counter formula the counter formula starts with is equal to c o u n t on fourth number you can see count f formula so if i press tab so it will select it for me first i need to define the range what is the range my range is this column i drag this column and select it and then a comma and then i need to define the criteria what is the criteria for formula look for the formula will look for the criteria and then give us the count the criteria is this cell if i click on this cell it will call its, its reference cell now i need to fix this criteria this is the most important thing if i press f4 so it will fix it for me because whenever i change this cell the count will be changed if i don't fix this cell the formula will consider the next cell to this criteria cell so that's why we need to fix the criteria cell now close off bracket and press enter so it's giving me the count of five it means there are five students which have been passed in branch one you can see in branch one one two three four five there are five students which have passed in their exams in branch one if i want to copy this formula for the next column for the next all three columns so what i will do i'll just simply drag from the bottom and move to the next column so it's giving me the count for the other branches as well so it means that branch two there are five students passed branch three there are seven students and branch four there are six students so this is this formula works if i change this criteria so formula will automatically look for the new criteria and change the count accordingly for example if i change the criteria and i give the criteria as fail so this formula will change now now it's giving me the count of three students in branch one three in branch two one in branch three and two in branch four which are fail in their in their exams so this is a conditional formula whenever we change the condition the count change that's why it is called count if it gives you the count if certain criteria meet and what's the certain criteria which we define the formula is start is equal to count if start of bracket cell range comma and criteria the again the most important thing is to fix the criteria cell then the formula will look in a better way then close of bracket so this is a count if function next formula the next formula is count ifs formula count ifs formula is advanced form of count if in count if formula we just define one criteria but in count ifs formula we can define multiple criteria we can give multiple conditions in formula to get result how it works i created a simple example there are four columns employee name joining date attendance and residence if i want to have a count of employees who met all these criteria i define the different criteria multiple criteria so let's start writing the formula and i will show you how it works is equal to c o u n t you can see 
On fifth number, at the bottom, there is a count ifs function. If I press tab, so it will select it for me. Now, very first thing is the criteria range. What is the range? What's the first range in which the formula will look for? I would say my first range is joining date column. So if I select the first column and then press comma and what's my first criteria? First criteria is this one. My first criteria is 2016. The employers whose joining date is 2016. I have count of those employers. Now what I will do, I will fix this criteria again. Now I press comma and second thing is what is the second criteria range? What's the second criteria range in which formula will look for? My second criteria range is attendance column which is this one. If I select on this I'll just click on it and drag till the bottom and then again comma and now I need to define my second criteria. What is second criteria? Second criteria is 80% employees who are having 80% attendance I want to have count of those employees if I click on this cell it will select it for me again I fix it fix it for you now I need to define the third criteria range third criteria range is residence which is the last column if I select this column again comma and now What's the last criteria? Last criteria is Glasgow employee who live in Glasgow. I need to have count of those employees. Then again F4. So now I define the three criteria in this formula. I can give as many criteria as I want. It is a multiple criteria formula. You can define as much criteria as you want. Now close off bracket. You have press enter. So it's giving me the count of two. It means there are two employers who meet all these three criteria. Like employer, there are two employers who joined in 2016, having attendance of 80% and are resident of Glasgow. So I can double check in this data. The joining date is 2016. There is a Alex, attendance is 80% and residence in Glasgow. Second employee was a Ross girl joining the 2016 attendance is 80% live in Glasgow. So you know, this is how this formula works. This formula cater the multiple criteria, look into the multiple criteria and then give you the count. If I change the criteria, if I change the criteria to 2017 and if I change the residence status to Manchester so the formula again will look for in 2017 who's joining the 2017 tennis is 80% and Manchester now formula give me the count of zero it means there is no such employee who's either who's joining data through 2017 or having 80% tenders or live in Manchester. If any of the criteria doesn't meet, the formula won't give any count. In this scenario, there is an employee who joining date in 2017, but its attendance is 56%. That's why the formula is not giving any count because one of the criteria doesn't meet. So this is how this formula works. The count if formula is start with count ifs start of bracket range criteria then range one then comma then criteria one and so on so on as many criteria as you want you can give a multiple criteria in this formula now I make the quick comparison between all these formulas all these formulas the count formula the count formula is a simple formula which only counts the numerical values in given data Whereas the count a formula, it counts the both the numerical value and the alphabet value as well. So count a function is a more advanced function. Third one is a count blank. Count blank function, it only counts the blank in given data. So if we want to have the count of blank data, then we use the count blank function. Four formula is count a formula. It is a conditional formula. We can define one criteria in this formula. Whereas the count if formula, we can define multiple criteria in this formula. So this is all about the all count function in Excel. If this video is helpful, then must mention in comment section. 
hit the hit the like button if you like this video and make sure to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming video i'll see you guys in next video